here it is, the last week in a gun season, and uh, I'm still looking for a buck. Uh, obviously, I'm kind of second guessing myself. I'm not shooting at that eight point the second week of archery, but I'd probably make the same decision again. He was a nice eight, but he was narrow. But I have confidence that I have an opportunity this weekend. As you can see, it's pouring rain, there's thunder and lightning, but it's supposed to end between 8.30 and 10. So I'm heading out to sit in one of the huts that we have out on the farm. And uh, hopefully I'm out in that hut as the rain ends and the deer begin to move this morning. So wish me luck. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's been a long season. Oh, I have hunted 40 plus times. Passed up on a nice buck the second week of archery. Oh, had one come in after dark one night that was a shooter eight point and took a shot and it hit a branch. I had two big buck this year, one in New York and one in Ohio run within 20 yards of my stand at a dead sprint chasing a doe during archery and I couldn't stop him and 
What are you going to do? You just sit there and watch them. Yeah, and I'm out on the farm this morning, and all of a sudden I saw a half rack come out. It was 40 or 50 yards away, broadside, and I had to get a window down because the window was up, and I was trying to be so quiet with deer 10 yards away, and I was able to pull it off and get the gun out the window, and took my time. I think I took a pretty nice shot, and I, I thought I heard him run maybe about 80 or 90 yards, and I heard a crash, so yes, buck down, baby. It's about time this year. I definitely worked for it, and I'm freaking psyched, and I think I got it on film. <laughs> yeah! Oh, boy. <clears throat> Ooh, I sit tight here for half hour or so, and you know, give him some time and then go over and check and see if I see any blood and hair where I shot him. And it's kind of a rainy day, so I don't want to wait too long, but right now it's not raining, so I'm going to take a look at the radar and see what's going on before I plan when I'm going to get out. Yeah. Give them about a half hour. Oh, I checked the weather and it's spotty off and on rain, so I'm not going to wait too long. I'll probably start tracking because I don't know what's going to happen with the rain the next hour. where I shot him from and I'm standing just 40 yards away so I'm gonna see if I can find any blood and uh, I'm gonna start tracking. through the middle of the property. So it's kind of open down in here where I can probably see, I don't know, maybe a hundred yards either way. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk along and uh, just kind of keep looking and see if I can find him, considering I didn't find any blood for the first 20 or 30 yards, but I know the direction he went not only by watching him run away, but listening too, so we'll see what I find. This is always nerve-wracking on a wet day with a rifle and no blood. I would imagine he's dead for my shot, but I just don't want to kick him up. I'm always concerned about that. It's been 40 minutes. 45 minutes since I shot him. Let's keep working along this road and see. Well, it didn't take long. I only went about 30 yards up this road, and even when I interviewed with you guys a second ago, he probably would have been in sight, but he was behind some trees. So I just found him uphill right here, and we got a buck down, baby. Sweet! Yeah, I'm psyched, man. Let's go see him. Here it is, a lot of long, hard work this year. Not as big as the buck that I passed up or a couple that I had underneath me, but it's one of the bucks 
um, that uh, Steve wanted me to call off for the farm. Really kind of funky down here, really only has a brow tine and then some mess right there. And Four point on this side, you know, two and a half year old deer. It's got a big body. Oh, I'm psyched. It's been it's been a long season for sure, and I'm psyched to have a, a buck in the books finally. Um, I still have my muzzle loader and archery tag, so you know who knows well how that's going to play out in the next week and a half or two weeks here. Um, looks like I got him in the front shoulder, and he was uh, kind of quartered to me, and it angled back and um, came out his stomach. I tell you what, he's been in the corn for sure because there's corn here. Looks like he thrashed around a ton right here, and I was looking right here at this antler, and um, he had broken it off, and I found it laying right here. So I have to see if I can repair that right there. But you know, little little half rack, eight point meat in the freezer, and uh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for giving you to us to eat this year. There it is, baby. Buck, buck down. So I started back to my stand and wanted to follow the blood trail back. And I found blood, and you know, I found the blood trail going back about 30 yards from the deer. And then the blood just stopped. So he didn't even start bleeding until about 50 yards away from the shot. Fortunately, I found them before the rain's coming. It's just starting to rain right now. And, uh, I'm going to go back and get my stuff. Go ahead and change my clothes and come back and get them field dressed. So a little bit of a story on this deer. Last night, Brian and I were talking and he decided not to hunt today because it was going to be pretty nasty rain. and. I said I was still going to come out without having a buck yet this year. So I got all my rain gear together this morning and I was going to sit in a stand which is a little bit tucked back in the woods where I might be able to catch some deer coming from a cornfield uh, going to where they bed during the day. And on my way here this morning there was thunder, lightning, pouring rain. So on the fly I changed up my mind and sat in a hut where I could stay dry this morning and uh, it was a great decision. Ended up seeing eight doe at first light and then maybe about 25 minutes later right around sunrise I had this whole pile of small buck like spikes and four points and a five point they all came out and they were feeding walking closer to me a couple within like 10 yards and all of a sudden he stepped out broadside to me on this little trail about 50 yards away I got my gun up put my gun right on his shoulder he was quartered to me a little bit Pulled the trigger about 50 yards away and all the bucks scattered but one who stood underneath me 10 yards away trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, he ran about 100 yards away. Um, no blood for like the first 70 yards. Uh, fortunately, he ended up in an area which is pretty wide open so walking up a road uh, I was able to find him. So I'm psyched. Uh, there is my gun deer for this year. Being out in nature, I love so much about deer, but tenderloins, baby.